Shooby dooby dooby gang. <laughs> Let's go. The state trashy tour is in full Whee! swing. We're coming to a town near you. Uh-huh. We got the first leg announced. Yes, We're baby. We're coming other places. First leg coming up. Grab the squad and come to the show. Yeah, guys. Starting in March, we're going to be in Baltimore, Virginia yes. Beach, Richmond, Virginia, yes. Oklahoma City, Dallas, yes. Texas, Houston, Texas, Austin, yes. Texas. Then in April, New Haven, Connecticut, Woo! Burlington, Vermont. In May, we're hitting Tampa, Dania Beach, Florida. There you go. Raleigh, North Carolina. And in June, we're hitting Cleveland and Columbus. We're going to be announcing a bunch more cities, but tickets are already moving now. Get them. Let's party. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. Well, little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they're good to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Try, try, try. I'm your host, Dave Trolley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She's upstairs, motorboating a teenager. <laughs> okay. A gal? <laughs> All right, I'm listening. What's happening? My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He is an international businessman. Uh huh. The Nicaraguans want him to run for president. Okay. And the Russians want him dead. Give it up for KJ, <laughs> Kevin James Ryan. You talking about my Russian neighbors? They How about are. that? Yeah. What? I'm an international man of mystery. That's right. Yeah. Oh, they're speak- watching you. Speaking of, we'll get into that. Ooh. Shout out to everybody. T- thanks for tuning in. Well, you saw Austin Powers we this weekend? D- we did yesterday. <laughs> me and T Bone saw Mike Myers. Nuh uh. Yeah. We had dinner with the stars, baby. Uh-huh. Really? Uh-huh. Me and T Bone had a little meal. You two dirtbags had dinner together? Uh huh. No, I don't like that at all. <laughs> we, I, t- I said, don't tell Foley, wait till the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> Along with all my right. wife as well. Luke, find your best pair of sweatpants. <laughs> Uncle Hank's taking you out to dinner. We're going to Carbone's. <laughs> Table for three. Um, I'll call up Bradley Cooper right now. Uh, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Shredder F. Cooking. And then obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com. Mm-hmm. Slash you garbage. Sign up. You get bonus episodes, AYG. Yeah, you episodes of Hard Feelings where yeah, we let it dope. all... Oh, hang out. I'd be letting it hang out here. <laughs> this is going to be a little hard feeling zesk, I think. Find out about this dinner. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, guys, uh, we're announcing our new tour dates. The link should be in the bio. They're announcing soon. Get those tickets when they're available. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire. The magic man makes us all look good. Works the ones and twos. Crosses the T's. Dots the I's. I bought him dinner. Didn't even know it. Give it up for T-Bone <laughs> McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. Hey, what's up, dudes? What's up, T-Bone? Oh, nothing. Just out there hobnobbing with New York royalty. You know? Where'd you just go? Yeah. Dinner that with the Mike stars. That Mike Myers was there. What? Where'd you go? I had him over my apartment. It was <laughs> <laughs> it was a catered affair. <laughs> I, uh, I, made him, I made him wear the outfit, though. <laughs> Hey, I dude. said, Mike, you can hang too, but I need a lot. You do a little, sh- little song and dance or something. Hey, do the voices for my wife, will you? <laughs> hey, where's Dr. Evil at? Huh? i never seen you two in the same room. Talk to the dog like it's mini me, huh? Come on. Where'd you have dinner? Uh, down on the Lower East Side down there. Yeah, where? Uh, place- Better be a subway. <laughs> place called Ruby Rosa. Really? Uh huh. I've been wanting to go there. Well, Tough reservation. Tough reservation again. I pulled a couple of strings. Me and a mic man. Yeah, Schultz to get you a table. No. And they know me. Mike Myers was in there. Mike Myers sat right next to us and then asked for his table to be changed for away from Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Toby was in there cackling, talking about camera lenses or something. Myers wanted out. Is that true? <laughs> that is 100% correct. <laughs> <crazy. laughs> Stink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He cackled. The buildings rattle. And Myers sat down for two seconds and goes, uh, waiter, change my table. You walked Mike Myers? Well, in our defense, they had sat us in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, was he solo? He was with his kid. Ah. And then Toby, I go, that was Mike. To- Toby and my wife didn't realize. They had nothing. You brought the bird, too? <laughs> yeah. What What am I, the last man on the team? <laughs> Fucking junior man on the account? This is bullshit. You were sick, you idiot. Oh, Luke, you and your girlfriend are in for a fucking <laughs> treat. <laughs> for a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> And I take a swing at both yeah. of you. <laughs> couple, couple of Chardonnays. I get it. Tell the broad to kick rocks. Huh? I don't think he uh, shot at Luke. Oh, man. That's a good piece of business. <laughs> 
uh, I just pooped my pants a little bit. All I right, think. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, ah, I'm getting over a stomach bug. I don't know what to tell you. We'll be all right. Um, I wanted to ask you. Speaking of which, I know both of you aren't going to like this. If your if your question is, does he look like in the movies? Exactly like yeah. in the movies. <laughs> uh huh. He smelled nice too. <laughs> He, he really lights up a room at M M&M, and M, huh? My, also, my game and, and King Bozo fashion. Those two didn't realize, and I'm like, of course he walks in. I see him, you know, a stars spot stars, you know. Sure. <laughs> other famous people sense other famous people in the room. He look, I, he I look get to, to you. Uh, then you play a rock in something. <laughs> Can, can you, you play, play an old man? Can you play the boulder that chased fucking Indiana Jones down the cave? <laughs> um, I don't like this. He at was all. sitting there with his kid, like right next to Tebow. Because those, those, uh, uh, they're tight spots. They're tight down spots. Here. The Lower East Side spots. You're on top of each other, which yeah. I hate. I'll, I'll give me two, three tables next to me too. I need a little elbow room. Hmm. Um. I go, that was Mike Myers. He goes, that was a kid. I'm like, yeah, not him, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Mike Myers was Mike Myers. That was clearly his son. <laughs> he goes, that was a kid. He works here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Must King have trouble Bozo. Getting, getting jobs. King Bozo move. Anywho, mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask you about uh, the wipes, about butt wipes, mm -hmm. okay? Obviously, fresh ones. Sure. Can you use them? For anything else, is that trashy? Because um, uh, I use them if I if I tinkle and I dribble a little bit, I'll take a throw a couple on the floor and I'll clean it up like that. You use your foot though. I use my foot. Yeah, that's the trashy thing. Why? Yeah. Using your, I mean, using your foot to clean. That's not. I mean, that's not how they do it in the commercials. What are you talking <laughs> about, dude? What do you mean? Why? I'm, I'm not saying I don't do it. I'll. I'm the kind of guy, if I got a sock on and I dribble, I'll just mop it up with the sock. Oh, and yeah? Go about really? my day. Yeah. Oh, I'm old school, baby. <laughs> I'm old school, Janice. You can't use appendages as piss mops. Uh, That's crazy. Using your foot as a fucking wet jet? Yeah, <laughs> Swiffer. It's called the Kippy, baby. Commercial of me zipping around the, zipping around the apartment. They should have those. They <laughs> my sh feet smell like this. <laughs> they should have. Well, I usually take my socks off and the dog eats them. So. It's a self-sustaining yeah, no wonder. economy. Yeah. It's got a mark on my territory. But I'll also wipe down like the sink with them and stuff yeah, like that's that. That's fine. That's cool? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, take it away, Kippy. <laughs> Thought I'd get a little more pushback from that. Uh, I didn't know you were wiping up your pee with your foot. Uh, that's crazy. I'm, I've done it. I don't make a habit out of it, but and I've done it. walking around the house? Ah, I mean, I, first of all, I'm not like, it's, it's not like a puddle on the ground. It's a drip drop, so I don't get yelled at. You know, on the subject, I do have something else to confess. Uh, more often than not, I'm peeing in the shower. Just like not in the shower. Not in the shower. What are you doing? Because I, if I get it all over the place, it, it's a problem. I get yelled at. Uh, that's what squatters do, man. You can't be doing that. I run the water and it saves water. How does running the bathtub save water every time you pee? I don't fill it up that yeah, much. You're nuts. I just give it a no. little splash. Uh uh. It's no good? No, dude. Toby? That's like Fenway <laughs> Park bathrooms, dude. That's like a trough. I might as well throw some ice in there, like a like an old urinal in a pub. You're next to a guy in a giant's hat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they look good this year, huh? <laughs> you believe these bums? <laughs> Pass interference. <laughs> Oh god! Well, are you doing ice baths these days? Nah, 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 nah. it's just peeing in the tub. It's just easier for everybody. That's the way I look at okay, it. Okay, fair enough. I completely disagree. I turn the I, fan on. I turn the water on in the, the fan faucet. Have to do it? Eat asparagus? Gotta, I got, I got, the fan have to do it? Just anything. to cover it up. She don't know this. What are you nuts? Yeah, I'd be out on the street. Yeah, yeah. it's where you belong. You're peeing <laughs> in a tub. Yeah, that's. No good, huh? No. Knock that off. All right. Then I got to sit down to pee. I don't want to do that yet. Or you could just stand up. I, my, I'm, too, I'm too powerful. That's. I I'm mean, telling you. I'm man, too, talk about an all-time spin zone. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too powerful. What does that mean? For, for escalators, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too powerful. No matter where I hit the toilet, it splatters out. And like little, little particles get I on the thing. I think you got bad aim. 
I don't have bad aim. I got good aim. It's coming out. It's like a fire hose. All right. Yeah, easy does it. This way, everything stays clean and no one's none the wiser. Yeah. All right. I just got to be real careful when I open and close the thing because we have the metal hooks. And she's going, why are you showering four times a day? <laughs> That's yeah. At least you don't smell like you are. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, knock it off with that. Seriously. All right. I uh, I I I really I have a problem. I went out to dinner with them. We went. We had a nice little uh, dinner and a movie date. The You've other had night. a couple of dinners over the last week. Yeah, I do. All right. What happened? I'm to back s- on the sauce. Yeah. No <laughs> shit. Um, you turn that key real quick. What? You 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 were drying out. You were I on. I dried the, out for like fucking twenty three days. You were on the Peloton. Next thing I see, a picture on Instagram. On, you got you got you got four cows legs of bone marrow in front of you. Yeah, and I and spilled my drink all over the table. <laughs> Man, I don't belong in nice places, dude. I, they spot, dude. I was wearing a Miller a Miller a Miller High Life racing T shirt at a place that had bone marrow. Yeah, it was Minetta. What? Yeah, I spilled I spilled my Manhattan all over the table. I, I you can't take me to nice places. I re, I, re, I resort back to that eight-year-old scared at the what'd suburban the, diner. What'd you put the bone marrow on? Bread or crackers? Uh, put a little behind my ears. Relaxes <laughs> me at night. Where it is cologne. Uh, what are you putting uh, it on? Uh, a baguette they do. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Huh. Was he there, too, for that one? No. Just you and the bird, Tom huh? Tom Cruise was there, though. Was he? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, we walked in. We popped. We went to see a movie. Try to be cultured. A little bit. Went to see that uh, Colin Farrell movie. The Lords of Banshee the or whatever Banshees it's called? The Banshees of Ishrahim or something. Okay, how was it? Nice nice film. Good? Yeah. I'm a big Ambrosia guy. I love Ambrosia. Sure. Same guy. Martin uh, McDonough, I believe. Big Ambrosia guy, too. But... Oh, I love Ambrosia. Um, told you. popped th- over there. Yeah? Had a minute. Nice little dinner. No resi? Uh, I think she called on the way down to see if we could get it. They were like, oh, yeah, 730. Or really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Easy peasy. Look at you. Uh-huh. Not bad. Stiffed them on a tip. <laughs> <laughs> and left with paper towels from the bathroom. French fucks. <laughs> kick rocks. Hey, frogs, kick rocks, huh? <laughs> USA. I'll take another side of freedom fries, please. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> None of that mayo shit, neither. I got my own ketchup. <laughs> Fucking scum. I, I bust out a bunch of packets. <laughs> Yeah, I don't belong. I'm not a cultured man. I don't belong in those places. They Snails, see right. Ew. Yeah, they see right the through me. It's the nuggets sitch <laughs> here, dude. She'll do the mott sticks and uh, <laughs> a couple ice cubes for that wine, will you? <laughs> Cold as down. Yeah. Uh, ah, this is silly. But we got a goddamn family episode here, folks. Yes, uh, we do. As you know, when you sign up for the Patreon, we will answer, answer your garbage question on the air, it's just the best way to do it. We get a lot of submissions, the DMs, the tweets, the this, the emails, the whole nine yards. People called my house one time and said, hey, I got a question for you. It's easy, but I'm snoozing over here. <laughs> uh, but Patreon gets the first crack at it, so when you sign up, we will answer your question on the air. Mm-hmm. Sound good? Sound good. Let's get into it. What do you got, Kippy? Uh, this is from a guy with the name of Got Robbed in Norristown. Ooh, uh, been never, there before. Never have one read. Is it garbage if the only place you could teach your kid how to swim was an, am- an amusement park wave pool? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I wonder where that was in Norristown. I don't know. It's got to be talking about Dorney Park. Maybe. That's maybe. the only wave pool I know in the in the tri-state area. Dorney Park, Hershey Park probably had one. Six Flags had He's one. Not driving up to Hershey. I mean, yeah, I don't. And I don't know if Hershey Park had one. I would assume they got a wave pool. I don't think Great Adventure did. Did they? Yeah, they did. Because I, I, when I was a camp, well, camp counselor, we took a, a group of kids, and uh, one kid wanted to wear uh, He's jeans, wearing jeans in the pool. Yeah, which huh. I refused against. That had to come later. I thought Dorney Park was the one that had the wave pool back then. Uh, I don't Either know. Way, Six shout Flags out to runs a, top, a top-notch organization. They got a wave pool. Raging Wa- It's not Raging Waters, or what's it called, T-Bone? Oh, I thought you were. I thought you were about to. Sorry. Oh no, uh, Hershey He's swimming in a creek. He doesn't fucking know. He's a hillbilly. Hershey Park does have a wave pool, but it's made out of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, milky. No, they do have a wave pool though. But that's a tough. Learn how to swim at Peanut Butter Falls. <laughs> <laughs> I like Hold to on s- to the marshmallows. I'd like to see that in the Olympics, huh? The whole town does smell like chocolate. It does. It does. It's nice. There used to be an Abisco factory up there on a boulevard when I used to live uh, down that way in the northeast. Uh, man, you could smell the cookies from a fucking... It's not bad. There also used to be a now and later factory in Brooklyn when I was... <laughs> you could have been thrown out of. <laughs> <laughs> 
sir, can you please leave? I pay my taxes. You're not welcome back now or later, actually. Instead of storming the Capitol, I stormed that. <laughs> Trying to get in there. Yeah. Um, now, there used to be a now or some kind of flavor factory or something over. <laughs> in- <laughs> Savor the flavor, baby. Down there, here at the flavor factory. There was something over there in Brooklyn. Is that what you just call f- food factories? <laughs> flavor factory? They got it all. Lime. Cherry. They got cherry. They got grape. They got vanilla swirl. Uh, you used to drive by the on the Guanas Expressway. You could smell it in the summer. Flavor factory. You are a great. I think it was Boza. now and later. I think it was now and later. But I don't want to brand specific them. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to pigeonhole them. I don't want to blow them up. <laughs> Maybe they were runs. Could have been a wrong. now and later dark site. I don't know. I got my now and later gators on. Uh, teaching your kid how to swim in a public wave pool seems dangerous. I mean. That's a real trial by fire. Who taught you how to swim? I think I learned. I don't know. I feel like I've always just kind of known how to swim. <laughs> uh, I'm part no, turtle. You didn't. Uh, maybe I have a vague. Use your head as a buoy. <laughs> I have a vague memory. There's boats going around me. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the left to Kippy. Stay hey, the watch channel. the wake, dickhead. Uh, I think. Uh, we might have went to like uh, when I was like a toddler. I have a vague memory of being in like a pool at like a gym or like a rec center type thing, mm-hmm. probably. And I think I remember a kickboard. Now that I'm thinking about it, sure. Uh, but I think at that point I was already like pretty good. But I think it was more of like just learn some more fundamentals. You know what I mean? I'll never I never f- remember not knowing how to swim. I'll never forget the lady that uh, that taught me. Because set of cans on her. No, nah, I fucking tortured her, man. She hated my fucking guts. She had bruises all over her. I remember them specifically. What? I was so scared of the water. Man, you are a fucking. Oh, dude, I pinched her all the time, holding me. She. I remember. I vividly remember her complaining to my mom, like, "You can't bring him back. Look at my arms. I'm all bruised up." And the kiddie pool. No, nah, it was a big pool. I think it was at the CYC in uh, Wilkesbury. Is where I learned. Okay. Imagine thinking you're drowning and then pinching somebody. Yeah, I don't get you. That's my move. <laughs> <laughs> Getting handsy with the instructor, Wendy Peppercorn. <laughs> yeah, man, I look back on it. Fucking bad news. That's tough. Uh, but then I got it. I took to the water like a seal. Yeah, and I, I mean, I just. I, I had mean, a record over there, 12 and under freestyle for a long time. Mm-hmm. Might still Break be up dancing. there. <laughs> Did a worm like doing, nobody's business. Doing some backspins, maybe. <laughs> Pinching all the, all the other kids you're swimming against. I Something remember somebody there. loafed one in the pool. Shit. Yeah, like a Caddyshack. We talked about this. Uh, it was we, down in the deep end. We used it to sunk, too. We used I don't know to what have, he was eating. and they talked about it. Not a lot of people know about it, but the greased watermelon. We've mentioned it before on the show. They grease a watermelon with Vaseline and throw it in the pool. And then it's like rugby or like whatever you got to get it to the other side of the pool and it's two teams mm-hmm. and man i remember just being a kid i was too young and being like wait till my day comes and i can get in the goddamn grease watermelon fucking man i was all right there was the big day of all, all the kids would gather and watch it all like watch like the older teenagers do it yeah man and then one time we did it you know those pretzel barrels we felt with at my buddy uh neil and scott's house we filled that with rocks and did it with that in their own pool, man. I, I, I sank, I sank like a stone, dude. I went all the way down to the bottom with this. I had to let go, Maybe like all a fifties gangster. Oh man, yeah, down there swimming with the fishes. Well, I remember in middle school when we would do because we had a pool at our middle school, and we would do like swimming certification at some point during gym class throughout the year. And it was it was a pretty size it was a pretty decent sized pool, uh-huh. and the deep end was pretty fucking deep. It had to be ten feet, something like that. It had a couple serious diving boards, not the probably high twelve, dives. yeah. And we used to do these bricks. They were like bricks that were like made of like rubber, and they would drop them down. It was like seal training, and we'd have to swim back and forth and then dive down and get them. I don't think anybody fucking did it. You guys are in a car it. seat with a seatbelt. You got to get down there and fucking cut it off. Roll out. <laughs> share an oxygen mask. Dude, that scared the shit out of me. Officer and a gentleman with Richard Gere. All that. Anytime anything's being done in a pool and it's empty and no, no. one's having fun, it's I, a tough that, that, I knew I'd never be a pilot. You never see I anybody diving for rings or something <laughs> next door. You're in a cage getting fucking dunked. Oh, that's my biggest fear. 
Yeah. Brutal. But we had to go down and get these things. And I don't think anybody did it. And I knew, I knew it was dangerous because they always had like two extra gym teachers there with goggles on in the water with their suits on, like ready to go down and get you. I'm in fucking seventh grade here. Yeah. Just loaded up on fucking shitty pizza and a couple of Otis Buckmeyer <laughs> yeah, cookies. A couple chocolate milks in yeah, me. Now yeah. you got me doing budge training? <laughs> yeah. you're, you're ringing the bell, dropping out of school. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah dropping the, out of SEAL training. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Look to your left. Look to your right. Two of you won't be here. You're like, it's fucking it's, it's, it's homeroom, man. Relax. This is this fucking Sparta? What's yeah. going on here? I don't think they do that shit no more. No, they got rid of, uh, they switched high school, my high school. They got rid of the underwater demolition <laughs> training? <laughs> You're an underwater welder? <laughs> Down there with a fucking TIG welder? Uh, What's the De Niro movie with him and, uh, is it Ant- not Antoine? Man of Honor. Oh, man. Give me those steps. I was crying like a baby back Woo. bitch, dude. I was fucking, man. Antoine Fisher's nothing to shake a stick at, too. You ever see that? It's with Denzel. The one where you're going to kill him, shoot himself in the head? Ooh. Is that that one? No, save that's John Q. Oh, yeah. Trying to save his cat's another one. He don't miss, I'll tell that you that. might have been the first movie I cried at. Oh, I bawled my eyes or out. Like, as an adult or, like, you know, uh, as a man. I think Kevin Connolly was in that, too. He was. Yeah, he was all right. Mm-hmm. He was all right. supposed to do the show. Mm. Never happened. All right. I'll get into that. What are you going to do? Kip, how about them factor meals, Ooh, baby? I got a text today. They got yeah. dropped off at the Bam. apartment. Tasty and delicious. Love them. Gang, factor does it all for you. They shop for you. Mm-hmm. They prep it all for you. Yep. They cook it for you. Uh-huh. Fresh, never frozen. Yep. You go home, you pop it in the microwave or throw it on the skillet for a couple of minutes. It's ready to eat easy peasy, and they are delicious. Yeah, gang. I got back on a factor train. They're fantastic. It takes the thought out of it. I'm a big fan of that chorizo chili they got cooking over there. You're going to want to eat more Hachi than one, I'll tell you that. Uh, they, they got, are delicious. They got calorie smart keto options. Uh, they are perfectly portioned to keep you on track with your goals. Factor now offers 34 meals per week and over three dozen add-on options like sweets, smoothies, smoothies, juices, and so much more, baby. T-bones on them. It's ready to eat in under two minutes. Bada bing, bada boom. Takes it out. If you're if you're wrapping your head around, should I get pizza? Should I get a sandwich? Bada bing. By the time you're by the time your your factor meal is done, you're already eating it. You don't have to make the decision. Damn. Head to factormeals.com slash garbage50 and use code garbage50 to get 50% off your first box, baby. Oh, shit. That's code garbage factor. That's that's code garbage50 at factormeals.com slash garbage50 to get 50% off your first box. Do it. Kip, let's talk about ladder, baby. Uh, ladder. Love that ladder. Let's talk about what you're leaving your loved ones. Yeah. Huh? I got you earmarked for a nice little care package, uh-huh. buddy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Take care of you for a couple of weeks. Cleaning up your debts, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> And my ladder premium is going to be one of them. Uh-huh. Gang, do yourself a favor. Get yourself a little term life insurance. And if you're in the market, get yourself over the ladder and take care of it. Don't leave your family holding the bag. Yeah, guys, don't put everything off to the last minute. Taxes, dental visits, whatever. Get out in front of it and take care of it. Ladder is 100% digital. No doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for three million in coverage, three, like, million. three stacks of high society, Woo-hoo! baby. Hotch, just answer a few questions about your health in an application. They've made best life insurance on Forbes list in 2021, and it's easy to see why they got no hidden fees. You cancel at any time. Get a full refund if you cancel in the first 30 days. And that life insurance gets more expensive as you age. That's why it's time to buy it right now. So go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage. Ladderlife.com slash garbage. Back to the show. Back to the show. Um, all right, let's see here. This one's from Peyton, long time homie, never had one read. Are you garbage? If you exclusively used Heinz 57 ketchup and no other, only because your father raised stock cars and the number was 57. Here's my question about that. What other? What else would you use, though? But no. I do respect the brand loyalty no. and the number. He's talking about something different. We've brought this has come up before, and I've tried to clarify it, and you guys give me pushback. There's Heinz ketchup, and then there's Heinz fifty seven sauce. I think that's what the guy's talking about, which is more like an HP kind of sauce. No, but I under I, I do I, it's like more the yellow or the reddish, not red, like the brown. Yeah, 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 orange. It ain't or ketchup. Heinz 57, but the, on the bottles, though. On, on the, the red o- bottles. Yeah, they have the 57. 57? It was, yeah, it was, they had 57 engraved on the bottles at like a diner of the ketchup. And you the would, regular Heinz ketchup. Yeah, and you, it would say tap the 57s was the thing. And if you tap the 57s around the bottle, it would all come out. Huh, okay. 
Uh, no, that's totally cool. It's because they had 57 varieties of uh, sauces. They did? At one time, they had 57 varieties? Yeah, I mean, there's 57 on a ketchup bottle at the top. It says Heinz 57. Really? Let me see it. That's what you're supposed to hit to make it come out. Yeah, tap the 57s. Can I see it, please? So there's Heinz 57 sauce. Right. And, yeah, and look, right there. It says 57 up there. That's just oh, a regular sauce. Oh, okay. Yeah, that Heinz 57 sauce was all right. Me and my brother loved that shit. I don't think I ever fucked with but it. But not as a standard. That would be wild, just using that all the time. Oh, man. <laughs> you have to bring that. You feel that in the back? That's tang, baby. My gals, are, my like, gals are milking right now. It's like now. doing a shot of Malort when you're eight. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking blow your molars out. <laughs> nah, uh, that's totally cool. I mean, dude, if it ain't Heinz, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, there's not really a debate on that. It's not like the the ranch thing that we were talking about. No, it's straight. A I mean, it's Heinz. Ago. I think there's a number. Like, they make like 98% of the ketchup in America, and they just water it down and sell it. But I'll do a Hunts. Yeah, Hunts is all right. But especially with the Pennsylvania connection, we were a Heinz family mm -hmm. in the bottles for a while. The glass? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That, that was pretty Those got time. real crusty. Um, oh, yeah, for sure. It's like a bad <laughs> restaurant. Uh, this one's from Jordan. Uh, first time, long time. Not really a question. My mom was a grandma at 37. Ooh. Ooh. I think she. I think he said she had him. She had her. Br she had his brother at seventeen, uh -huh. and then at twenty, his brother had a kid. Wow! So a thirty-seven-year. That's my grandma. age. That's crazy. A grandma, but she still got her whole life in front that's of her. That's kind of the way to do it. Knock it all out by the time you're forty. Yeah, man. Fucking chill. Now you got a homie you can smoke cigs with and drink beers. There's there's people my age that have their kids are like going to college yeah well you're 50 you're that, may, I mean, that makes sense. 47 well 46 40. yeah so if somebody had a kid at 28 it's not bad yeah that's i mean I, I, probably most people in america have their kids can i get a number on that <clears throat> average age to have kids in america it's probably 24 but i have some friends that, that have just had kids <laughs> mm -hmm. they're like two and three and five and 28 stuff like that. 28. 28, there huh? There you go. Average age. Man. Hmm. You got to get cracking, big man. I'm just going to adopt an adult. <laughs> Somebody to hang Adopt out new with. guy Luke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, new guy Luke, you're bunking up with me. <laughs> He's all caked up up there. He ain't going to come to Uncle Hank's house. Yeah. Kidding me? But I need somebody, need somebody to take care of me. Be out on the street. What do you mean? Who, take care of me when I'm older. Yeah. I'm really putting the screws to my nephew about that. Laying the groundwork of a yeah, good trip. I'm sure, that won't fuck him up. <laughs> hey, I'm going to die. Someone needs to take care of me. <laughs> hey, when I can't walk in three weeks, someone's got to take care of me. Someone's, who's going to wipe up the pee in the tub? <laughs> three weeks. He's a freshman in high school. <laughs> uh, all right. This was well, this one's from H. Hoagie. Never had one read. <laughs> Is it garbage to use a coffee mug for anything other than coffee, tea, or cocoa, like wine or sodas? Oh, yeah. It's trash, though. Sure. And it's never enough. It's it's a perfect. That's what I like about a it. A mug's a perfect container for coffee, tea, hot chocolate. Sucks for water, but you're just standing by the sink for fucking three days trying to. Sure. It's not enough of soda. If I fill that up with soda you for know, tea with dinner with I ice, got, I got to re. Oh, you might you get like a thimble worth of fucking coke. But though. there's something there's something very edging about it. Is that the right word? Is that what the kids call it? When you almost get uh, there, let's check your Google search there, <laughs> big fella. When you almost get there, sure. but you're not. Yeah, that's all right with that. With some, with some with some refrigerator ice off the door, the little half moon Johns, sure, and some sodi. You know what? It, hold it's on, you know what? It's not, it's you know what it's not bad for is a little milk. It's great. It's all right with a little. That, I, little I would milk. do one and a half of those, bro. Oh, you're doing two, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Not an asshole. Mm -hmm. Shout out the milk. Big fan. Mm -hmm. Love the milk. Love it. Um, all right, this one's from Scott H. Brand new $10 homie. A lot of new $10 homies, by the way. Shout out to the fucking army of garbage down there. They're molt like goddamn gremlins, man. They're <laughs> eating it. after night, dude. They're fucking all. They're doubling. Love it. Um, is it garbage to be from Northeast Philadelphia? Like just a garbage birthright like nobility asking for myself. Is it garbage to be from Northeast Philly? It's. I Northeast think, Philly as a whole is a tough branch of the city. It I ain't think great. I think as being a suburban kid, 
a wannabe, more or less. It's a badge of honor. You got the Philly connection. I don't really have much of a Philly proper connection. I got my uncle by marriage who's from down there in Manny Unk. Manny Unk. But that's really it. Yeah. And I was always jealous of that. I was born in the Northeast. That's where my roots go back to. Old school. Real dirt bag Three shit. Three men. Three decamen at best. Yeah, I mean. Lace curtain. Most of my family is still in the Northeast. Uh, it, it's not a great. Uh, it, it, there's great parts of it, but there's also parts where you're like, hachi machi. I'm not saying there hasn't been an economic decline in the last 30 years. <laughs> and there's about a 98% sure. chance you're coming out of dirt bag. <laughs> sure. I'm not saying that. Yeah. Well, it's nice to get a nice piece of tomato pie every once in a while. Sure, of course. You know what I mean? Head over to the Franklin Mills Mall. Maybe know the Stocks family where you get the pound cake from. Mm-hmm. Not too shabby. Yeah, no, it's great. Uh, the North I'd East like to be in a first name basis with the lady at Del Sandro's. Sure. That's Roxbury, you bozo. Same thing. It's all Philly. Sure. That's still They're in actually Philly. quite far apart. It's like probably like an hour away. I love that Del Sandro's. Um, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, Not shout out to Northeast Philly and all the... Uh, they would growing up. They refer uh, the the term going around was newt. They called them newts. What northeast white trash? What's the what guy's a real fucking newt? What's the great northeast? Is that different? No, that the great northeast is the northeast. Okay, that was all marketing. That was Gary Barbera. Yeah, I heard that yeah, on the radio. That shit ain't that great. Dude. Up there I, in the great <laughs> northeast. Yeah, made it and sound beautiful. Like it was... That's where he had. So Gary Barbera was a. He was. I probably still banging. Uh, yeah, don't run your mouth. He was he, heavy, heavy bike in sales. Get run over by a pre-owned Buick <laughs> in auto sales, <laughs> and uh, him and FC Kerback coming at me. Ooh, I um, love an FC Kerback. Gary Barbera. The, it was the Great Northeast and Roxborough, and uh, you know, in the Great Northeast and beautiful Roxborough. That was all the commercials. Yeah, yeah, that was all right. I always wanted to say, where the fuck is this place? The Great yeah, Northeast. That's just the North. It's called Great because it's huge. It's I'd like go up, I'd go up on the roof and fucking look out, and see, <laughs> see if I can see if I can see the Emerald City. It's not. I think they call it the Great because it's so big. It's like the size of the rest of Philadelphia. Yeah. The Northeast is. It's like this huge fucking this huge uh, sprawling uh, area out there. I just thought the mob was up there. I don't think so. I don't know why. The Russian mob now, for sure. (laughs) I told you they want me dead. (laughs) Uh, All right, let's see here. Uh, This one's from Brock. Is it trashy to walk around a convenience store pretending to shop for a while, knowing I'm not going to buy anything and I just want to use the facilities? (laughs) Uh, A convenience store, you're fine. Yeah, you don't got to play that game. No. Hey, where's the bathroom? Yeah. I think because... I do get this though, but from what, since we've been on the road so much, it's like I'm just you just go in. Nobody's at a convenience that's store. Like nobody's a gas doesn't. station convenience store. Yeah, if you there's can, a gas station. Oh, gas station. I just filled up. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm about to. Got no can car. I get, can I get five on two, please. <laughs> that's a mountain bike. <laughs> and I'm gonna go drop two in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, be right out. Uh, no, you can do whatever you want. A restaurant is a little different. Also, somebody just wrote in or tweeted or something that the move at a restaurant is. Hey, I'm still waiting for my party. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick if you're like jammed up. I or, tried that and a place asked me to hold my credit card. Really? You're a dirt ball. Yeah. You walked true. Mike Myers. <laughs> you would have definitely walked them. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. We started you would have been asking him to do Shrek and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys need a body double by any chance? <laughs> Is it donkey with you? Um. Yeah. Hotel. Uh, hotel lobbies in New York is a big one. Just pop into a hotel, find the. Yeah, lobby. like you own a joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A restaurant. I'm room eighteen forty two. Where's the shitter? A restaurant. All right. As somebody who worked in the industry for quite a long time, uh, the way you play that is you just walk up. Don't. I mean, if you're if you're a scumbag, mm-hmm. they're probably going to say no. But if you're just looking to use the bathroom, hey, I'm sorry. Do you mind if I use the bathroom real quick? Most people are going to be shorts right there. Yeah. You're going to get a dick or two that really doesn't have a reason to say no. I don't like that. They just want to be a fucking asshole. That, that shit's so fucking crazy. And that used to, to drive it's me crazy. It's not your fucking bathroom, and you're probably not the guy cleaning them. I used to have an owner. Uh, one, of the, one of the owners I used to work for did that. A fucking nice neighborhood. There was no reason to fucking be like this. Like neighborhood people. It's not like people are coming in shooting up heroin or something. No. Yeah. Nobody's graffiti in the, you know, the walls or anything like that. And it would be dead. There'd be nobody in there. Be like, nah, sorry. 
And I just feel like the fuck Ugh. you do. Like all I don't understand. A person that, that had gotten coffee like a couple days earlier. That's another. I think there there should be a thing of like everybody's I just a, a potential here customer. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. That's like I should be able to. I, you know, you should be able to piss and shit in any Wawa. I spent enough money at this guy. But like I way. said, if somebody comes in and they look like they're a piece of shit, you know, sure. You use your judgment. Like, yeah, if they're gonna smoke crack in there or something, or you know, what or you know. They have spray paint out in their hand that they're ready to fuck it. And you're shaking a can of spray paint. Yeah, maybe say it's for customers only. I uh, never understood that. That shit always drove me crazy. I remember people like, it's for customers only. Like, All right, I'm going to buy a, I'll buy a slice, but I, I'm not doing it. But like, I, let me go fucking take a deuce real quick. This is clearly an emergency. You know, I'll cool. get a slice on my way out. You know who's cool about that? There's a pizza place on 3rd Avenue and 8th Street, maybe. You know that pizza place? Third Avenue and Eighth Street. It's on the right if you're walking up near Cooper Square. It has the uh, corner. It's a raise. It's, it is a raise. Yeah. There, fuck me. Cool. That was, used to be our hang. Yeah. I used to meet you there after work. It was on a billy club. It was on like a little mini baseball bat. It was. Came. It was on like yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what I was, I never understood that bathroom was tough though. Oh, it was brutal. Man, I would change in there out of my those gray slacks that I stole from my dad. My fucking shoes that had holes in them. They they were tough times. Yeah, they I spent half my net worth on two slices of fucking chicken parm pizza. <laughs> Shout out to it. Yeah, and a screaming cold can. Uh huh. No, I never understood uh, the people that fucked up bathrooms that wrote shit on the inside of the wall. Can I assume that you that you partaked in that a little bit? You ever tag up a bathroom? No. No? I do appreciate some nice bathroom graffiti. You know, look left, look right. The guy holding your dick is a tiny dick or whatever. Nah, I hate that shit. I mean, yeah, if you're at Nobu, sure. But, I mean, if you're at a dive bar, that's all fun and games. Yeah, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? That's kind of the aesthetic of the dive bar. Everybody tag, then someone else writes something, they write something. I worked at that Bear Burger in the West Village, and people would come in and fucking do it all the time. It's like, what the fuck? It doesn't even make any sense. The fuck are you writing? Yeah, I, don't I know. get graffiti, nice picture, nice fucking spray paint, something nice. But the tagging shit, it's like, dude, get some fucking talent, will you? They do, and they're tagging. They're letting you know. No, that's yeah. not talent. <laughs> something dumb. Anybody can write, fuck you, fatso. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the complaint department, I think. I don't even think that was a tag. <laughs> I think that was that was that was a Yelp review you got. Yeah, <laughs> fat ass motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> That's just rude. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see here. This one's from Sam. Uh, is it garbage if your neighbors have a fire pit in the front yard, <laughs> smoke and drink beers out there almost every night? Yikes! Listen, there's nothing more I love than a fire pit, a cooler of beers, and a handful of heaters. It's one of my th- uh, one of some of my greatest times in have the been. front yard. But though. the front yard is a bad look. There's That's two a kinds of people or maybe side yard activity. The, the side yard. Who the fuck's hanging out on the well, side? It just depends yard? if you don't. I, it's better than the front yard, dude. There's two kinds of people. Front yard burners and the, backyard. No, burners. there's front yard people and there's backyard people. You don't want to be front yard people. No, that's tough. Mm-mm. I guess it does. Depends slightly on the neighborhood, how it's set up. But for the most part, yeah, that's fucking a fire bad. pit in the front yard. There's definitely a car rough. on the grass in that yard. Sure. Yeah. And it doesn't run. Mm-mm. No, I remember uh, there's a runaway in the house, too. Yeah, probably <laughs> ain't seen Claire in a couple of weeks. Yeah. True. An officer after somebody <laughs> in that house. For sure. <laughs> Somebody's attendance is below par. What was a true an officer? Were they cops? They have guns? I don't think so. I think they were just more. I don't know. I mean, maybe some of them in certain places, but they were just more of like a, maybe they were like a an arm of the co- like an arm of the law. Maybe like you I know, never went that far. We had adopt the cops in ours. That was big. Adopt the cops and adopt the cop. I think that's what it was called. Um, where each school would get a neighborhood cop, and like he was your cop. And he would come and talk and give like a whatever, and they had like baseball cards with this guy. Our guy was a real fat piece of shit. I don't want to say his name. Man, this guy was a real tub o lard. <laughs> I wanted to be like, Officer Hoagie. Yeah, hey, Officer Hoagie, dick, get out of here, will you? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I remember just being like, dude, this is a sham. This is a puppet regime. What are you talking about? Give me. And there was another dude that we had this fucking cool ass cop, Officer Heath. He was the fucking shit. He would catch us skating and stuff and didn't give a shit. You know what I mean? He'd be like, yo, all right. You know, all the other people are like, give me your board. Where I'm calling your parents. Our guy would come up, act like you don't even fucking know me. I'm like, bro, I adopted you last year. The fuck you talk? You're going to call my goddamn parents for doing a little for doing a little board slide over? I'm wearing your jersey. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Officer Heath would come back. Like, yeah, I clear it out. What's up? How you doing? That's all right. That was all right, but our guy sucked ass, dude. Dude, it's a, there's a lot of requirements to become a truant officer. High school diploma. <laughs> all right, Foley's out. <laughs> I have a high school diploma, dickhead. <laughs> All right, that one that one struck a nerve. Probably a GED. <laughs> no, I was. Uh, I think I was the third lowest in my class. I think I gra- really. I graduated with three hundred and forty-eight kids. I think I was like three forty-four or something like that. I was a show off. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I was down there. I remember the girl we had. The other four kids got hit by drunk drivers. Yeah, the other four kids didn't graduate. <laughs> because I think they did it. They did it. Uh, they like, published ours because we were 505. And there was a girl at this fucking. I, there's no, she's probably not alive. I hate to say it, but 50, her and another kid were tied for 505, dude. It was bad. Sharing the title? Oh, man. <laughs> It was like you couldn't, I mean, you couldn't make, we did make fun of her, but if, you know, there was party, it felt kind of bad. I was down there. She's a good friend of ours. Because they did that on graduation. Hot piece of ours, too. They did that on graduation. That's where I found it out. It was like in the program or something like that. Ours came out like right before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think they lined us up like that. They're reading the names. Henry Foley. No shit. Holy shit. You owe me 10 bucks. (laughs) Someone lost a bet. (laughs) Principal's like, fuck. I think they lined us up like that. Mm -hmm. Like when we walked in graduation. No. Smartest to dumbest. No, no. That's when I remember. I was tripping on acid, too, so I can't really piece it together. But I'm pretty sure. I'm at a preschool graduation. (laughs) I'm pretty sure it was something like that. Yeah, because that's when I remember. No, it's typically- that's when I remember when it hit me because we all gathered in the cafeteria before we walked. We we're down. already there. <laughs> <laughs> What's everybody doing in here? <laughs> that's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's just here grabbing some old Texas Tommies. Uh-huh. <laughs> we showed up. We had it in the stadium out there in Trojan Stadium. Shout out to it. Uh, in the stadium. Yeah. In high school? Oh, in high, like high school. football field. Yeah, football it's not field. a stadium. Yeah, why well, is we have a stadium? Tripping balls in a gown? Man, this concert blows. <laughs> <laughs> Play free bird, dude. <laughs> dude tripping face. Um, no, we have a state. We have a st- I mean, it's not like fucking uh, that, Penn State. I, 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 there was bleachers as a gate <laughs> yeah, to get bleachers in. Bleachers is not a stadium. <laughs> it goes all the way around. Full? Yes. Compl- no, no, no. Not the bleachers. There's a there's a fence all the way around it. They uh, sold hot dogs. Oh, yeah. They did. Pretty pretty solid snack bar. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> You're in line. <laughs> Henry Foley. Do, do, do the works. Do the work. <laughs> you two at sauerkraut to you, huh? Where's that beer guy at? <laughs> hey, throw a flag. Will you have it right back? <laughs> Can we get a TV timeout or something? Go get a heater. Get my head on straight because I'm tripping balls right now. Oh, man, you're a different kind of idiot. <laughs> Excuse me. Is this real? <laughs> no, and then we, we all gathered in the cafeteria before we walked out, and that's, that's, that was the first time where it hit me, where I saw it. I was like, oh, fuck. And I was, I was down at the bottom of the list. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Still got my shit, though. <laughs> Suckers. I was pretty. I'm eight. I was pretty up there. I was definitely like top quarter or whatever. I, we were out of five hundred five. I was probably like you know, hundred and twenty or something like that. Probably if I had to guess. What about you when you graduated from Bohemian Grove or wherever <laughs> you went to high school? <laughs> we didn't have grades. Yeah, man. God. So I, I got a, I got a frowny face <laughs> cloud or whatever. Yeah. Three kisses and a butt pad. <laughs> Three pine cones. <laughs> Um, all right, let's see here. Uh, this is from Hayden. Never had a question read. Is it garbage to try and get out of jury duty? Uh, I would say it's a must, unless you got nothing else going on. Yeah, you want to get fucking jammed up on a murder fucking trial? I never. Buddy understood. of mine just went through it. 
The dude's Who? fucking in there. I don't want to name names. He's in politics. A gentleman you know. You have a friend in politics? I was joking. Oh. But he's an associate of ours. Of ours? Yeah. Huh. You know him. Is he a comedian? Yeah, he's a comedian. Okay. Funny guy. We were just talking about him right before the show. Huh. Was it me? Am I in jury <laughs> duty? Am I on acid right now? No, but he was. it was a murder fucking rap. And the guy's in there when they're trying to pick the jury. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Fuck they, that. They mug you. Dude. Mm -mm. No. Get caught up on a Rico case. Fuck that, He's dude. Fucking fish heads to your your mother's door and yeah, stuff. Yeah, fucking Bobby Bacala paying you a fucking visit when you're at the snack bar with your kid. No, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. Yeah. I, I've never done it. I got jammed up once when I lived up in New York the first time. They brought me in. <laughs> Found out you had a warrant. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> now I'm on trial. <laughs> Yeah, I said I had a dentist appointment or something oh, like that. That don't fly. I got no, a I dentist did. appointment. I did. I think it was pre nine eleven. It was the Wild West back then. Sure. They were like, uh, "Does anybody have a, do, do, when they bring you into like interview? You sit in a room before they even bring you in. Sure. And you could be sitting there for days. I've seen a people versus OJ. And then they bring you in, and you're there with the judge. And it's like, do you have any reason why you wouldn't be able to see this through? I got a dentist appointment in three days. Fucking out the door. And a reservation in about three hours. <laughs> <I'm> trying, to <hit. laughs> trying to catch a matinee down there at the Angelica. <laughs> trying to catch a table at Rayo's next week. <laughs> Fucking really jam me up. I got a hot piece of ass lined up. <laughs> Sweet piece of trim. Yeah, fuck that, dude. Uh, Get out of that. Yeah. You're just a busybody. For civic duty, all that shit, fuck that. Yeah, I've never... You don't uh, want to get caught up in that shit. Unless it's something real juicy, you can write a book. No, I don't want to do anything of that. That's fucking... <sighs> nope, I don't no, want nothing to do with that. Uh, this one's from Palmer. Are you garbage if you take your CPAP machine as a carry-on on a plane without the case? Wow. That's, if you're a raw dog in a CPAP machine... Is it in your, in your carry-on? It just says as a carry-on. I think he's just carrying on... His CPAP machine. I wonder if he's using it on the plane. Because uh, my pulmonologist said I could. Because they have plugs on the plane. Sure. I feel like a real life pilot. <laughs> Can I have more tomato juice? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some more Biscoff cookies, please? <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me while I'm landing. Breaker one nighter. Some poor guy sat next to a 500-pound Darth Vader. <laughs> Just tripping over your hose to go to the bathroom. There'll be nothing to stop us this time. We could do that all day. Uh, yeah, that's a tough look. Yeah. I want to get a new bag for the, for the new tour. Something a new real, duff? Some, no, not that. I want to get something so it doesn't look like a CPAP bag. Mine's getting a little ratty anyway. Mm -hmm. get, a, get, some, get some new one. Maybe like an all metal one. Oh, that'll be cool. Handcuff it to my hand. Uh huh. Look real important. Sure. That is important. It's the machine keeping you alive. Or they think I'm a terrorist. <laughs> I get tased. It's like I can I... take a hatchet to your elbow. Make good with the jewels. <laughs> World's worst heist. You get back. It's a fucking dirty CPAP machine. <laughs> Hasn't been cleaned since you got it. I clean it pretty regularly now since I got that bad chest cold. Okay, great. From it. From I got man. jammed up. You talk, I mean, you play it fast and loose with everything. Talk about sleeping with the enemy. Man. Inside of that thing looks like a bong at a bread house. Yeah. <laughs> Scrape that thing for, for CPAP res. <laughs> I'm doing CPAP res balls, dude. Get your high as shit, though. Oh, God. <clears throat> Man, that's funny. Uh, all right, this one's from Wildwood Truck Nuts. Hey, homies, long-time stockholder, never had one read. Is it garbage to prefer your hands as a cup at the bathroom sink rather than a real cup? It's amazing how waterproof your hands are when you put them together. I've had that realization. Sometimes I'll do it and just watch it slowly, and it's like, that, is, that becomes a proper bowl. I do, I do enjoy the scoop of water, but I typically have a glass. Not me, in the bathroom. Let me say this. As a kid, in the middle of the night, you wake up and you're dying of thirst and you go into the bathroom, the bathroom sink. You let that cold water run for like a minute. It gets screaming cold and you just put your hands under it 
put your hands under it and you just get in there and it's a constant thing. Yeah, it's like slur- slurping a, uh, out of a babbling brook. Oh my god, that was all right. Um, it take it's like it takes you to like an exotic place. It's an out of body experience. Because I was I was real sick the last couple of days, uh-huh. and I had my little thing with me with with the liquid IV in it. Man, just fucking pulling on that thing. So fucking good. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I typically have something now. You have a cup in your bathroom? No. Okay. No. You have a cup in your bathroom? No, I don't like drinking the tap water in New York. Why? It's crazy safe. No, it seems gross and old and gnarly. You're, old from, the, you're from the woods. What are you talking about? Um, That's where the clean water is. Yeah, right. Well, a lot of bears pooping around here. Okay, <laughs> this guy. Uh, I I wouldn't go to the bathroom if I needed water. I didn't hear Aaron Brockovich doing any reports in New York City. Um, but I uh, deep gut. Yeah, <laughs> man, shout out to EB though. Shout out to Albert Finney. Um, hell of a performance, <laughs> Mr. Steven Soderbergh. Hear that, kids? Drop acid at your high school graduations, and you can make references like that. Yeah, you can make a career out of making Aaron Brockovich references. <laughs> deep cuts. Uh, Thomas Jane, one of his early works. But if like, now I wouldn't go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? I think like a suburban house. Sure. You're upstairs. You're well, like, you're not going downstairs. What? So no, that's how, the fucking, that's how the fucking Reaper gets you. He's waiting under the feet. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. Man, I would never cross that fucking staircase. In the really? Middle. What? Yeah. Unless the, unless I was making eye contact with the dog. Uh-huh. Be like, it's me and you. you Let's dude, go. Shake, rattle, no and roll. No fucking way. There was dudes in every corner down there. Mm-hmm. And we had the open floor plan so I could see everything. I didn't like that at all. Uh-uh-uh. Yeah, I feel like because the, the, your house is a split level, that's like real urban warfare. <laughs> that's like higher ground looking down. Yeah, dude. No way. It Man. was petrifying. Yeah. Not to mention you could see the the other downstairs. From the top of the thing, and it was just Cold a, a black there. hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Or cellar draft. Fuck that, man. I wasn't going down there for all the chocolate milk in the world. Yeah. No, I, thank I you. I would get uh, uh, sink down, but now I just go to, if I, you know, I typically have something, but sure. I'll just go to the sure. the bathroom. But I was always, to the, I was always jealous of... The, like somebody who had a cup. They had a nice cup in the in the bathroom. I mean, as kid, I mean, between me, and my brother, and my sister, it was like that's there's no way. That's what like you do if you're like married, no kids. It's you and your husband or your wife, and you. Each it would have be a filthy if it was me and my brother. Oh, Plus, man. all of us taking Someone's pulls taking off their of balls it? in it or something. You know what I mean? Like it would be like fucking. What do you think my parents were doing? <laughs> I'm just saying, like I'd be like filling mine with coke and leaving it. Like it wouldn't be fucking. It wouldn't be like you see in the movies of like. Here's my glass of water. I'll put it down and yeah. fill it up tomorrow. A nice, cold, refreshing glass of water before you go off the Pop-Pop's sleep. putting his dentures in there when he's staying over. <laughs> God damn. Man, I opened up that jar one day. I didn't know. I, didn't, I was like, what the fuck is this blue Tupperware thing? Hachi machi. Set of jumpers. <laughs> I was like a drunk 18. I was like a drunk 16-year-old. Woo. Oh, man. man. I thought I was in the science lab. Woo. My man. one aunt used to fucking really... Play it fast and loose with that. She just throw it in a rocks glass next to her bed. No <laughs> lid or nothing. It's I think in bar- it was it's in barbicide or whatever. <laughs> I think it was ginger ale. Yeah. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yikes. Just fucking having to sleep in her room, just that thing staring at me. I swear to God, they would turn in the cup, and start talking to me. Yeah, my step, my step, that my grandfather used to get to scare us as a kid. He would push him out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like a fucking three. I almost took a swing at him. Hey, old, what the fuck are you doing, old man? Fucking shit's falling apart over there. Yeah, my you uncle would. Talk sl- about. I'm like, my uncle would slide his top ones out. Dude, the lip drops. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's like a, a different guy. Gives you a bitter beer <laughs> face real quick. <laughs> hey, you hear the suction on the lips go. Dude, like a different guy. It's like when a dad shaves his beard and the baby freaks out. <laughs> Fucking lose it. Uh, mm. All right, let's do a couple more here. Now we got a ripper up there. This one's from Tyler. Um, is it garbage to spray Axe body spray after a poop instead of buying Febreze? I'm okay with it. Well, it's a tough. I mean, if you got it smells like pooping teenagers in yeah, here. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, I'll spray anything. I sprayed Windex the other day. Uh, I'm a mat. I mean, we we roll with the matches. I'll throw some scope on the floor. 
I'll wipe it out with my socks. Uh, I'll worth tip. I'm a match guy. Ugh, I hate that. Yeah, I don't. I, Nothing that smells grosser than shit and fucking matches. I don't get it at all. It I know we disagree. Smell like shit, though. It does. Matches smell like sulfur. It smells. It smells. So worse. Your poop smells like sulfur. I'm not saying. I'm saying. The sulfur diffuses the shit. I mean, it's techno. It's it's science. The sulfur diffuses the it's technology. <laughs> it's it's brand new poop technology. <laughs> they did it in the old west. Yeah, yeah, because it was that good. They didn't have anything better. They were dropping like flies at tuberculosis. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing. No, but you go too heavy. There was on no the, ice. You go too heavy on the free. I walked in here. You went heavy on the Febreze today, and I don't want to say anything. It's heavy. You go real thick. I didn't, spray any, I didn't spray any, anything in here today. Somebody did. No, I, ch- I threw the trash out. Oh, it was the trash bag. It's a scented Febreze. bag. Yeah. So you, it's got Febreze on everything, this guy. I didn't make them. Everything you touch goes to Febreze. Now. But you do spray too much. We have poopery. What's that? You put little drops in the in the toilet. That, uh, yeah, that doesn't. Before you do do. That doesn't do it either. That's, I've, I've had that before. You overpower That's, that? Overpower, Yeah. <laughs> Take that like Sherman Wait through Atlanta. Wait till you out of your... B- <laughs> Blowing through a roadblock. <laughs> That's... Oh, no, you put the three drops in. You're nuts. Wait till I'm I spray that... that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff hot on your tail. God damn, that son of a bitch. I'm going to get him. Yeah. Yeehaw! <laughs> Kippy's Veneta bone tower dumps. Oh, that was rough. <laughs> there was no, there was no amount bone of poop. I'm going to... Put pooped in a vat of poopery, and that wouldn't have fucking done anything. You're shitting out plasma. Yeah, spraying <laughs> mud, dude. <laughs> Got a bad case of mud butt. What do you want from me? Um, but let's wrap it up there, gang. What a fun time. Yeah, we love you. Love you, boys. Come see us on the road. And gals. And gal. And I was talking to you two idiots. Oh, okay. Love you, boys. Gang, come see us on the road. We love you, mm-hmm. and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.